trap. I looked at the trap, Ray. Bring your streams off as soon as I close the trap. Get ready. I'm closing it. Now! <laughs> Hey you guys, what's up? Good morning, welcome back to Bones' Vlogs. Hope you guys are having a great day so far, and I hope that this vlog makes your day better because this is going to be an action-packed vlog, okay? Imagine that you are moving to a brand new house, okay? And you have a bunch of action that is in your house. You're packing it, and this vlog is the moving truck. It's with action, okay? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Anyway, guys, we're gonna jump straight into it, because if you remember, on the previous vlog, this crazy hotel is haunted, guys. Things were going on. So, not only are we hoping to find and catch a villain today, we are also going to explore the city, and we're hopefully going to pick up some more clues about this ghost. So, make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end so you don't miss any detail about what happens, because this should be a pretty crazy vlog, unless it's not. Which, there's always that possibility. But, pretty much, here's what's gonna happen. Dan, Stone, Zack, and I are going to go out with the local LEGO guy superheme... Superheme? Superhero team. I don't know what a superheme is. And, also, the SWAT, the LEGO guy SWAT team, because we're gonna need all the help we can get, because this guy could, like, conjure up a tornado or something and wipe us all out with one attack. So, we're going to go hunt down this villain and hopefully catch him. Not only that, I'm also going to set up a camera. So I'm going to use my phone to film when we're out. And once again, I'm not going to film us fighting the villain. That's not possible because my camera would get destroyed and I'd get killed because he'd attack while I was filming. I'd be distracted. But what I'm going to do is set up my camera in this hotel room and it's going to record the entire time we're gone. So I'm charging it up right now so that it doesn't run out of battery while it's recording. And as we're gone, it's going to pick up anything that happens. I'm going to stick it in the corner of the room and it won't miss a thing. And also, guys, Zach came up with this cool new invention. So, Zach, do you want to go ahead and tell them about it? Yeah, so basically, I still don't believe in this whole ghost thing, but if it is true that there's actually a ghost here, then I've got a plan. If you guys have ever seen the movie Ghostbusters, you'll kind of recognize this. We're going to have like a little box, and I'm currently in the middle of building it. But it's basically going to be a box, and the ghost, or whatever creature it is, will hopefully get sucked into the box and get trapped, where then we can study it and research its... I guess, like, chemical makeup. I have a feeling that whatever this thing is, it's not a carbon-based life form, so we can check it out. It's probably, probably like, some kind of extraterrestrial being that came from, like, this other planet or something. But yeah, hopefully I can figure out some good things about it, and we can defeat it at the same time. And I'm also multitasking, because I'm creating a new weapon called the Storm Stopper, which we can use to combat this villain that we're facing. He's one of the strongest ones I've ever heard of, except for, like, Lord Nano. He's a villain that we fought once. Super powerful. So hopefully my Storm Stopper invention will be able to stop his storms. Like, what else did you think it was gonna do? Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera. I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick up everything that happens, but I should pick up a good amount. I'm going to set it up over in the corner, maybe, somewhere where I can pick up almost the entire room. And, yeah, I'm going to go out with the rest of the guys now, and we're going to search for this villain. And hopefully, what we're going to do is spread out and search all around. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to film some cool things that I see. And, once again, I'm not going to film and fight at the same time, because that would be too distracting and too difficult, but I will tell you if we catch the villain or if he beats us in the end.
Hey guys, we're back and wait. Dan and Zack. They're taking the orange to Isengard. The orange, the orange, the orange, the orange. To the orange. So as I was saying, we just got back, we fought the villain, I'm super tired, I'm about to like fall asleep right now, and yeah, we beat them, okay? A lot of cars got destroyed, one of the buildings now has a big hole in it from a massive lightning bolt exploding, and there was a hurricane, but it's all resolved now. Dan used his rage to punch the guy straight into the building and he fell down, and Zack zapped him with his so storm stopper. And all his powers went away all of a sudden, and the hurricane went away. And then, Stone picked up this big rock and crushed it over the guy's head. And I took out his legs, and then Dan tackled him, and the SWAT team came in and put him in handcuffs. So that's all resolved now. And now that that part of it is out of the way, it's time for me to check the footage that I got while we were gone. And I'm gonna go grab that corner camera. And after looking at the videos, I realized the camera fell over. Either it fell over on its own, or a ghost knocked it over. I don't know which one, but it fell over. So I only got like a minute or so of footage. It only recorded barely, it recorded barely anything. We were gone for like three hours and it only got like a minute, two minutes. But one thing did happen. The chair moved. Okay, the chair moved out of its spot on its own. Nobody was there. This is further developments, guys. Well, guys, it seems like we're going to have to reopen this investigation. I thought that maybe nothing would happen and it would all be like, okay, but nope, we're going to have to keep looking around. So, I mean, I'm just going to start over here. I mean, nothing's really out of the ordinary right now. I just wanted to set the camera down and just say that um, this is not fake. Everything that is happening here is real, okay guys? Not one single part of this at all is fake. I, it's just, I can't stress this enough how this is not like fake at all guys i'm just gonna i'm just gonna lay down here this is 100 percent real and this is just like very scary right now that was not guys hold on i mean i don't think that there's Okay. Yep. Yep. It's happening again. Okay. I have no idea how we're going to catch this ghost. I really hope that Zack's invention is all ready. Dude, Stone, where is Zack? Seriously. It's like he's been taking so long. Yeah, I know. I think he's just trying to perfect the invention. Like... Where is he? Okay, Zack! Zack! You need to get out here! The ghost is doing weird things again! Seriously, guys, where the heck is Zack right now? He needs to get out here. I mean, seriously, this is getting really, really weird, guys. I mean... Okay, the drawers are opening. Yep. Mm, yeah, okay, something is really going on right now, guys. <sighs> this is so crazy. There's actually a ghost here. And they closed. Yeah. Mm. Zach. Okay, Zach needs to start. Where is he? Zach needs to start working on this invention thing that's supposed to, like, help stop this ghost or whatever because it is really going, like, insane right now. I don't even know what's happening, guys. Okay, so Zach just finished up here 
And yeah, Zach, why don't you go ahead and explain this? Because you'll be able to explain it a lot better than me. Okay, so basically, this ghost is probably fairly smart, so I disguised the thing to trap it in an extra gum packet, okay? And basically, on the inside, I'm not going to open it up because I just sealed it all and everything, but on the inside, there are some pretty complicated technological stuff going on. It's, it's a lot of stuff. If you want to understand it, go watch the movie Ghostbusters. You'll kind of understand what I'm getting at, but basically, when the ghost goes over it, there's a motion sensor that will send out lasers, which will lock on to this whatever it is. It will lock onto it and start disassembling its atoms. It'll break it down into lots and lots and lots and lots of teeny tiny pieces, and then it will create a vacuum. But the vacuum will be in a controlled area, so it will suck all the particles into the machine where it will be stored in a quantum container. And then a shield will go over it to keep any of the atoms from escaping, and then they will be locked away where I can take the case out, the quantum container, and I can then put it into a place for study. I'm going to leave this container right here, this ghost capturing device, on the floor right here. And yeah, guys, I guess we're just going to wait for this ghost to come. All right, so we've just been waiting here. Zach right here has his visor down. It's like a... He's got some sort of, like, some, like, heads-up display or something. Gauge heads-up display. Check. Report all preferences from home interface. Will do so. Basically, it allows him to see, like, a lot of different technology-related stuff that I don't really know about. And Dan and Zach, I think they were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we've been waiting for a pretty long while now, and nothing has happened yet. Okay, it's been about an hour, and I'm just checking in with you guys. Stone fell asleep, and Dan started reading a book, and I think he's dozing off too. And Zach, honestly, these guys are out. But, Zach, I can't tell if he's asleep or awake. But yeah, I think we're just gonna have to... <laughs> Just barely off camera, the huge ghost flew by and got sucked in. There was tons of explosions and lights, and the ghost got sucked in, and it was trying to escape, and I just barely didn't catch it on the camera. Ah! Oh, did you say it worked? Wait, Bones, it actually caught the ghost? No way. When it's open like that, that means that it worked. This signals that something has been caught inside the quantum container. Well, that wasn't such a chore, now, was it? And when I read the signals using my helmet, it looks like there is, in fact, some sort of ghost trapped inside there. I didn't believe it, but I guess you guys weren't playing a prank on me. It was actually real. So, Zach went ahead and took out the quantum container and he put it in one of his suitcases and once we get back to talking world which will be later tomorrow he's going to alongside some other people from the algs and the talking world government determine what exactly we just caught and analyze its properties and if it's these are his words not mine if it's a benign life form he will release it into its natural habitat but I think ghosts are kind of creepy, but I don't know, maybe it's a good one that was just hanging about. But anyway guys, hopefully that's the end of this fiasco. I don't think I'm going to film a vlog tomorrow, because all that's going to happen is I'm just going to edit some videos and then we're going to head home. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and if you like this one, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell so you never miss a Bones' vlogs, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>